Welcome to the workout room. My name's John Robertson and I teach Tai Chi classes for Lombard Park District. Now I know many people have heard about Tai Chi, which is an ancient Chinese martial art. However, we practice it and I teach it for the health benefits. Now people who have heard about Tai Chi often associate it with fall prevention and balance. It's been proven in many clinical studies to be the most effective form of improving your balance and reducing the risk of falls. If you're over the age of 65, your risk of falling in the next 12 months is actually one in three. And Tai Chi has been shown in a Harvard study to reduce that risk by more than 70%. That's a very significant number. Tai Chi is also great at building muscle mass, increasing flexibility, and also increasing bone density. It's been shown in studies as well by UCLA when they compared it against the shingles vaccine and over a 12-week study they showed that Tai Chi was as effective at boosting the immune system as the shingles vaccine was. Tai Chi is recommended for people with arthritis and rheumatism. People with Parkinson's and multiple sclerosis can actually benefit a great deal from the balance exercises that we do and the controlled movement that we do. I have a couple of students that last year began riding their bicycles again because their balance had improved so much. It's great at reducing blood pressure and improving balance. Now at Lombard Park District we offer three different levels of classes. We offer a Tai Chi for Health class which is great for anybody as that class can be done both sitting and standing. The next level up is our Beginners Tai Chi Chuan class which is also great for beginners who are able to move around a little bit more and are, can stand for an hour. Then beyond that we have a Tai Chi Chuan continuing class for those that want to take their level of practice to a little bit of a higher level and gain more benefits. And now we're going to take a look at some of the basic exercises that we do in our Tai Chi Chuan beginners class. Okay, so the first exercise we're going to do is called rowing a boat. And this is for your lungs to improve breathing and posture. So nice and gently, your hands float up to shoulder height. Squeeze the shoulders, pull them together as you bring the hands back. And then bring the hands down. So we inhale as the hands come up and back. Exhale as they come down. Okay, so the next exercise is called Uphold the Heavens with One Hand. And this is good for your spleen and your stomach. Very, very good for digestive issues, indigestion, stomach ulcers, acid reflux. So you're going to turn your left hand, palm forwards. Bring the left hand up over the head. Press up with the left hand, press down with the right hand and stretch up and down and then relax and bring the hand down. So we inhale as the right hand comes up, press up, press down, exhale as the hand comes down. Remember, very deliberate, very conscious with these exercises. The mind totally engaged in the movement. So the next one we're going to do is called Obstinate Child Kicks Its Leg. And this is all about balance. So you're going to shift your weight to the right foot. Pick up the left foot and touch the heel in front of you and change. So remember to keep the back up straight, head up tall, fix your eyes on the point your head height in front of you. And last set. And bring the feet back to shoulder width apart. Hands in the smaller back, so fair maiden circles her waist. So again, keep the head still, 
and gently circle the waist. So we inhale as we move backwards, exhale as we move forwards. So keep the head up, and allow the legs to relax and the waist to move. This is good for your kidneys, your waist, and your back. Okay, so let's work a little range of motion for the shoulders. So you're going to move your feet a little wider apart. Your right hand is on the small of the back, the left hand is out. So nice and gently bring your hand into your shoulder, curl the fingertips out, reach out to the side, and turn it over. Inhale as the hand comes in, exhale as you reach out. Inhale, exhale and change. So left hand on the smaller back, right hand out. So again, nice and gently bring the hand into the shoulder, curl the fingertips out, reach out to the side, and turn it over. Inhale as the hand comes in, exhale as you reach out. Inhale, exhale. 